Writing music uh, is, a, in some ways for a lot of people, a very gruelling, a very arduous process where it uh, takes them hours, days, months to get the musical ideas together. They may get chords, they may get the basic outline of a song together, uh, and, and they piece it together very slowly. Other musicians, other composers, find it very easy to knock off three or four-minute songs every day of their lives. How are you? Do you find it difficult to write music, to conceive an overall idea like the pros and cons of hitchhiking? No, I... Well, I don't do it every day, but... No, the, I never kind of sit down and try and think of ideas. I just, as I'm going... I just, uh, ideas arrive, and I go, hmm, that's not a bad idea, and I may make a note of it somewhere, and then I'll come back to it later, and then maybe it'll develop, and I'll, or I'll sit down at the piano one day and, and um, you know, work out some chords or a melody that comes together with a bit of an idea. The difficult bit, that all that happens without me trying at all. I never, I don't have to try. The, the the difficult bit then is is developing those short ideas into full length things. That's where the craft comes in, and the graft is then that does take a long time. Well, it can do. Uh, sometimes the absolutely the hardest things are, you know, you've written two verses and a bridge to a song, and you've got to write a last verse. And sometimes to write that last verse can become an absolute nightmare. With the live show, The Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking, part two is the, is the new production, but part one is some of the older Pink Floyd material, older and newer material. I mean, you're going right back to the second album, Source of the Secrets, I think, right through to the wall. Why did you choose to break it into those parts? And, I mean, why, why have you got older and newer material side by side? Because with The Wall, that was one production and that's all you did. Right, well, The Wall was a double album, and so it made a whole show. Uh, previously... Um, at previous Pink Floyd tours, uh, well, the one before that was in 1977, and we did Animals, was the second half of the show, and Wish You Were Here was the first half. Before that, Wish You Were Here used to be the second half, and Dark Side of the Moon was the first half. Before that, Dark... so we used to do the last two albums, so that the two halves of the show were always... Um... I haven't got another album. <laughs> so... <laughs> So I got to do some of it. Has, has it been a request, maybe, from some of the fans that you do some of the older material anyway? Because I, for no, one, no, uh, enjoyed I, those albums. No, I, I mean, I, I haven't... You know, there's fans didn't know I was doing a, um, a show. No, I just I sat down and I thought to myself, well, what am I going to do? You know, I can't just do the pros and cons. And I thought, well, obviously, I've got to use my songs. So I thought, well, I'll do a retrospective of my... They're only my songs, I may say. And the songs are nothing to do with anybody else in terms of the writing that is and uh, so then I, I went back and I started listening you know to I made a list first of all of songs that I th seemed to remember that I liked and um, made up a, a short list and listened to them all and then threw a load out and then made a cassette off the albums of about 15 and, and whittled it down to 8 or 9 songs that I finally decided to do well, the first half of the show is, is as I've said before, it's a kind of it's a retrospective look at my songs over the years. So, um, I have a list of songs that we're rehearsing, so they can't change very much because you know, once the band have learnt them. Uh, so we're starting with "Set the Controls for the Heart of the Sun" and uh, finishing with "The Gunner's Dream" from the Final Cut album. And uh, you have to wait and see what the other half dozen or so are in between those two. <laughs> Money is in there. I do, I, that, that's for, for sure. 